Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to teachers who had to deal with extremely weird students. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. A student threw a dead bird at a girl's face during a test. What? Wait, they were holding a dead bird? Why would you hold a dead bird and throw it at someone? Why would you do that? <laughs> during a test as well, during an exam, like while everyone is quiet, they're like, you know what? Let's get this dead bird and throw it at a person. That is so weird. <laughs> Okay, this is honestly really weird. He snuck it in during a fire drill and said he was saving it for just the right moment. It was a class of AP seniors. <gasps> All the seniors were there as well. Wait, what? Why would you save it for the right moment? What is the right moment for throwing a dead bird at someone? Why would you do that? <laughs> Seriously, that is so weird. Why? Just why? I'm just so shocked. He actually picked up the dead bird and was thinking about saving it to throw it at someone. Yeah, that is just weird. <laughs> like seriously, let the poor bird rest in peace. A little boy and little girl went into the bushes. The little boy started peeing. The little girl went up to him and pooped in the bushes. <laughs> what? So she used him as a toilet? <laughs> oh my gosh, she stepped on him and she was like, yep, now I'm gonna poop. The perfect moment to poop. <laughs> that is so weird. Okay then, okay. <laughs> okay, these are honestly so weird, but they're so funny. I like it. I found a student with his head in the urinal, licking it as the water was running. What? They were licking the urinal? So they were basically drinking out of the urinal? Ugh, what? Who does that? This was the first and hopefully last time I will ever say we don't lick the urinal. <laughs> yeah, we don't lick the urinal, okay? We don't drink water from the urinal. How would that have tasted? Seriously, maybe he liked the urinal. Maybe he liked the taste of the urinal. Wow, all of these are actually really, really weird. A student carried poop in from the bathroom and tried to finger paint with it. <laughs> Ew, that's so disgusting. What? They carried the poop and then they used the poop as paint? Yep, yep, oh, uh, okay, what? Whose poop was it though? Was it their own poop or was that someone else's poop? I guess it would have been a little bit better if it was their own poop. <laughs> Cause at least it's their own poop, right? <laughs> okay, these are getting more weird. I was teaching the class when I started hearing clucking noises. I assumed it was a weird text tone a student had. It wasn't his phone, he had a real live chicken in his backpack. <laughs> he had a live chicken in his backpack. He brought his live chicken to school? Like, why though, why? <laughs> this is my pet chicken, how cute is it? <laughs> I had a student try to stuff five pencils into her belly button while I was being observed teaching a lesson. She was trying to stuff not one, but five pencils into her belly button. I mean, obviously that wouldn't fit, but what is she trying to do? <laughs> that is so not good for you. That is very unhygienic. I teach preschool and had a student who tried to cut off his friend's tongue with scissors three different times. Oh, what? He doesn't get scissors anymore. I hope he didn't actually cut the tongue off. That is horrifying. Oh my gosh, all my questions are why? Why, why, why? Why would you do this? Just why? <laughs> my first grade student was rummaging in his desk. I stuck out my hand and said, give me the toy. I looked down just as the student said with a giant proud smile, it's my mom's. It was a pink vibrator. I washed my hands 40 times. <laughs> oh my gosh, they touched that. <gasps> that student, wait, that student, how old was he though? How old was he? <laughs> first grade student? First grade and then knew what a vibrator was? Hold on a second, first grade. How old is that then? Like six years old? I, whoa, I'm so shocked. I am so shocked. <laughs> oh wait, okay, maybe they didn't know. <laughs> I assume they knew because they smelled like, yes, do you know what you're getting into? <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure they didn't know or oh, did they did they <laughs> I wrote a sophomore up for googling men moaning at the gym and playing it on his classmates computer at full volume Wait in the middle of class <laughs> and then in the middle of class everyone just he's moaning What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, awkward, awkward. A few years ago, I had a kid make flamethrowers with axe and a lighter under his desk. He somehow thought I wouldn't notice that. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, the class is on fire. Please don't notice. <laughs> oh wow. A flamethrower under the desk? That must be so dangerous. I hope he didn't burn another kid because under the desk making a flamethrower... Whoa, yes kiddo, that is very dangerous. Please don't do that. This is getting over the top now. I once had to say no lap dance please while substituting in seventh grade. It was a glorious day. <laughs> the students were lap dancing. <laughs> I had to tell a student in my anatomy class not to lick the pig's heart that had been sitting out all day. They were licking a pig's heart. They didn't want to eat the pig's heart. He licked them. Even after the like, I don't care what you say teacher. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is so weird. Oh my gosh, I would just be like, ugh, kid, why would you do that? Why? I once had to confiscate a kid's glass eye. He kept putting it under the desk and chairs while shouting, I can see you. <laughs> I can see you with my glass eye. <laughs> oh my gosh, that fake eye. All these teachers, thank you for staying calm. <laughs> One of my students was taking a bath in the bathroom. I found him completely naked while painting the walls with his poop and singing Itsy Bitsy Spider at the top of his lungs. That is just weird. Again, another poop one. How many people played the poop? Like, ugh, why would you want to touch your own poop? And seriously, he was painting the bathroom walls? <gasps> Is that what happens when you see poop on the wall? Someone has been playing with their own poop. <laughs> I had to bust a kid in aftercare for trying to stuff a cricket into a younger girl's nose while she was napping. What? They were trying to stuff a cricket in someone's nose? Like a bug in someone's nose. Oh my gosh, these kids are just weird. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Just imagine waking up and having a bug in your nose, crawling up your nose. I had to tell a second grader, I don't understand why you're kissing my feet while I'm teaching right now. <laughs> they were kissing the teacher's feet. That is so awkward. Wait, so they were kissing the teacher's feet and the class was just watching? Okay, now that is very, very awkward. Yes, I do not know why you're kissing my feet, but please, can you please return to your table? <laughs> Please stop kissing my feet. One time 20 boys in my class were throwing their shoes across the class to each other so they could smell them and determine who had the stinkiest feet. Why would you want to smell each other's feet? Why would you want to smell each other's stinky shoe? Why would you want to have the stinkiest feet? Why? <laughs> Seriously, I thought it was very embarrassing to have stinky feet. So why do you want to be the one to have the stinkiest feet? Like, yes, I have the stinkiest feet. I am the winner. <laughs> When I taught 8th grade, a couple of boys brought hot sauce packets out to recess from the cafeteria and started chugging them until they threw up. Is this like a new kind of challenge or something? Please don't harm yourself. Why would you do that? Why would you chug hot sauce until you want to throw up? Like throwing up is not a good feeling. Why would you want to throw up? Why? <laughs> These are so weird. Like seriously, I just don't understand any of them. What is the thought process before doing this? Especially the ones that are playing with poop. Why would you want to touch your own poop? <laughs> there was a popular trend among my sixth graders of putting hand sanitizers in their eyes to see who could go the longest without crying. Okay, that is not good for your eyes, so I don't understand why you would do that. Please don't do that, okay? Please do not do this because it's not good for your eyes. And I don't know why they would do this, so please don't do it. 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 <laughs> I once had a student who will lick blood off other children. <laughs> uh, what? Does that kid think they're a vampire? We had another student in that class who would pick a bug bite to the point of bleeding. Those two were best friends. Oh, so one will make herself bleed and the other will lick the blood? Oh, I can understand why they're best friends, but why would you do that? <laughs> All of these are just making me question why. Uh, okay. <laughs> One of my students picked the scab and used their blood to mark the bubbles of multiple choice answers on a test. Why? I mean, did they not bring their pens or... I mean, you still didn't have to do that. Ah. Uh. That is so weird. <laughs> just imagine collecting all the papers and then you see one with blood all over it. I'm done. <laughs> I had to tell a junior in high school that he could not start the microwave with his fidget spinner inside. <laughs> I'm so sure this was recent. Oh my gosh. Wow, this was so recent. It was probably this year as well. <laughs> what was that kid trying to do? Cook his fidget spinner? I had to yell at a student for fighting on purpose and using a binder to blow it around. Oh, the class must think so bad. <laughs> now you know. It's that kid who has been fighting and using his binder to blow it around. <laughs> Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys had any weird stories in your classes. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!